Hello, we are Science Society Club, and today we are doing a podcast on um, the tools and concepts that you probably will need for a job once you graduate from STEM. My name is Shin. I'm Nanu. I'm Pling. And I'm Lena. All right. Well, one of the reasons why I, I settled on this topic because one, I need to get a job soon, and I just had an interview this morning. But another reason was kind of like, I, I was just like, well, yeah, wondering about like, the job market and how it looks like and what skills we actually need, like STEM majors in general, because I have friends in other majors as well as I was interested in that as well. Another reason was because one of, well, one of the other students didn't seem to know how to use like certain tooling, like Git or like whatever, or, like an API that we might need mainly in CS because I'm in CS and like he's like a later on in his um, CS course so I was wondering like, yeah what do you actually need and also like Anachan was talking about how like as a student don't really like use Git enough or whatever so stuff like that so yeah Nanu you're also in CS so tell me about like Git have you used it like an API or whatever like other CS concepts which you might need for a job uh, I have used Git before we actually use it in a class I'm studying, which is system skills and low-level programming. We were taught how the basics of Git, um, how to from how to clone repositories to how to merge conflicts when you work together in a repository. And we actually use GitHub, the cloud version mm -hmm. of Git, to submit our assignments. I also have personal experience with Git and GitHub because I did a project with my friend where we created a website and that was like my first experience hands-on experience with git and github as for apis i have never used apis i know what they are but i haven't gotten the chance to actually use them yet i'm not, I'm not at that level yet but i do want to use them for future projects all right let us move on to our bio other yeah yeah the other um people here are bio majors so you guys like well from when I looked at like bio as a course description for this university it says it's like well obviously STEM you kind of should pursue like a further education or whatever but yeah especially for bio there's like a more clear pathway for further education is kind of needed like getting like a master's or like a PhD or like an MD if you case you want to be a doctor so I remember one of you wanted to be a researcher the other one wanted to be a um, pedagogician so I was wondering like like you guys learn a lot of like memorization heavy classes like OCHEM which is like about like benzene rings and like yeah the bonding of like different organic compounds so I was wondering like how, how where do you guys think that plays into like you're finding a job or getting a job or like the future career or whatever stuff like that Oh, well, personally, I want to be in the field of clinical neuroscience, I think. And um, with that, it mainly deals with, like, there's mechanisms of brain disorders and, like, uh, also treatments for it, which would be drugs. So I think with organic chemistry specifically, I would need that because it's, like, one of the most basic understandings of, like, what I'll need to be doing if I work in that field? Um, I want to be a pediatrician, so of course I expected to learn more than others, like medical school and all that, it would be pretty hard. It's a bit of a bummer that if I just graduate with a bachelor's in bio, I would not be able to get a job, like a high paying job, I would have to take mm. further studies or else I would just end up as like a high school biology teacher and I did not want to be that. But yeah, it's a bummer, but what can I do? <laughs> further studies it is. So yeah, um, now we'll probably move on to um, one of the like core courses in STEM, which every STEM major needs for basically pretty much everywhere, calc and like statistics. So statistics is pretty obvious because data, data science, research. Yeah, you need it for research like, no matter what. Like yeah, you need to know how to understand what's happening. But more like calculus, which is like more conceptual and more like abstract and like it's not necessarily like something you need. Like, yeah, sure, people can be like, yeah, it, some people really enjoy math and like the definition or whatever. But in the grand scheme of things, you probably won't take a derivative by hand ever for a job. So yeah, where do you guys see like that fitting into 
your jobs? Like, where do you guys think that will like help you in your careers? Uh, well, as a CS major, calculus actually serves a very big importance in our major. It's basically at the core of our major. Learning calculus at its core is and seems very cumbersome, but we actually utilize a lot of its concepts. Especially for us, the main thing for us is we have to create and uh, make algorithms that are efficient. And with that, we need to use calculus concepts, like the big O notation, where we find limits and rates of change. And also, in a lot of um, data visualization, we use a lot of calculus in those as well. I think for us as bio majors, most of the calculus I learned in calculus one. I'm sure we'll never get to use, and even in stats, like um, most of the calculus wasn't used in there either. But I feel even if the actual content wasn't needed for like other bio courses, or if we continue to work in the field of biology, uh, math just like in general teaches logical thinkings, and that's like an important skill for STEM majors. All right, all right. But yeah, I mean, ultimately. STEM teaches you how to like think more analytically than anything else, because like like our cameraman's um, professor uh, boss once said, like you can get a degree in STEM and not work in STEM. You can get a degree in STEM and like open like a bubble tea shop and like th- actually those are quite profitable. So he was like he was like low key recommending that. But yeah, my point is like STEM teaches you enough to like think systematically and analytically to like solve problems, which is like a really transferable skill no matter what branch of STEM you are. And like, plus universities are more designed to like teach you fundamentals because the context of the job, what they use, like in the bigger frame of things, such as like how to like take a patient's history for like um, a pediatrician, or like how to like analyze like some brain connection. Like clinical neuroscience has like its own further deep context, or how to like use certain frameworks for certain jobs. It's, like has its own context. So those things can't really be taught in uni because those are really specific. So. Well, in bachelor's at least, because those are really specific. So, those are more relegated to like further studies or like a job. Because like at most, a university can do is like teach you fundamentals, which are good. And because like also everything's like moving fast, so, like just knowing fundamentals and adapting further along, and like knowing how to n- learn and stuff is like probably the best skill you can have. So, that's about it from me. Do you guys have closing words? Uh, yes. Adding on, I think ultimately, university. Serves as a stepping stone for us to get into the job market for our future lives, and um, it teaches us, as Shin said, the fundamentals and the concepts that we can use and build upon in our daily work lives, especially after we've learned certain skills. Like skills are important, but we also have to learn the concepts that govern these skills so that we know how to hone them. And use them effectively. I think that like the concepts we learn in uni are of course important to our career in the future. But we also get to learn like other skills such as like lab classes and things like that. Those teaches us how to like actually do the research and things, experimentals and things like that. And along with that, I think the group work that we get from teamworks and things like that from uni it's really important because that's what we'll be doing in the future. So. Along with the studies, the friends you have, the environment you have teaches you how to grow as a person overall. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, and hopefully, may we all get high-paying jobs. <laughs>